Hey, 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 everyone, Rasbowski here, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's Survive the Night. Officer Booty Lover is back in town and on business, ladies and gentlemen, and he has got a score to settle. Revenge is his middle name. Yep, that's right, his name is Officer Booty Revenge Lover. He's a revenge lover, that's what he is, because Stella, in the previous episode, sweet, beautiful, innocent Stella... The person I was going to spend the rest of my life with, we had beach dates, we had plans, I was going to take her for some macaroni and cheese. Folks, he took her away from me. He pounced on her and ripped her throat out. And then Ryan, good old Sergeant Ryan, or whatever his name, standing was in the police force. He, Sergeant Ryan, Sergeant Ryan was ripped apart by the mangle. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. It's just me and Stryker left, and you know how I feel about that bad boy. You know how I feel about Stryker, but I'm going to solve this case. I'm going to crack it, and I'm going to get revenge. Officer Booty Lover does not give in, ladies and gentlemen. He does not. Guys, if you're hyped for this episode, then please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. Let's shoot for 1,001 beautiful likes. Let's jump back in. Woo! Chapter 6. If you survive the night... Then you'll get cake and tea, cake and tea, maybe some little lemon tea. Okay, Officer Booty Lover cracks in here. Striker, I've got a plan. It's 5.45 a.m. right now, and we will get out of here at 6 a.m. Officer Booty Lover, I can't go. Oh no, Striker, my man, is it because you're mourning over Stella? Is it because you're mourning over Ryan? Was Ryan your lover? I will not, will not tell us all that you loved him. I think he's beautiful. I, I do enjoy that you have emotionally connected with somebody here on the police force. Why not? There is something I need to tell you. Go on, Striker, my man. It's not like we've all been waiting for this in the comment section. It's not like we've all been waiting for this. What is it, buddy? Read my name backwards. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. From episode one, you've all been like, read Striker backwards. Why didn't you read Striker backwards? Read Striker backwards, and then you will finally know who Rekjurt is. Striker. R. You are. Rekjurt? <laughs> yes. When I was a kid, my father was an abusive man, an alcoholic, and a drug dealer. I saw him. Killing my mother, and when I was 15, I killed him. Are you serious? Are you for real, dog? Are you for real right now? Are you being real, Richard Striker, whoever you bloody are? Are you serious, dog? Yes. Years later, I started to think that no one was a good person in this world, and that everyone was a, a liar and cruel, and I started to kill everyone I knew. I joined the police to kill every police officer I met, but I saw something different in you. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's why always in these games you play good. You always play the good cop in these ones. Just eat donuts and behave. That's what I'm saying. Scope out a couple of ass cheeks, but you know, overall, be a gentleman. And I was right. Oh no, damn. Okay. You made me realize that this world is full of bad people and good people. Wait a minute, am I bad or good? Oh fuck, I don't know if I've messed this up. Good people like you, Officer Booty Lover. Thank fuck, look at that halo. <laughs> we good. However, I can feel something. O Officer Rekjurts, please get your hands out your trousers. Not now, please, man. This is a very serious moment here. You've just admitted yourself as a killer. Is it turning you on? It's not turning me on. I, 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 I still want to kill people, but I want to stop. So please, let me die here for those animatronics, Officer Booty Lover. I, I, I don't deserve to live anymore. No, you're coming with me, man. You're going to face your retribution. You're going to go to jail. You're going to face your punishment. And, 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 and that's it. That's final. You need to pay for what's going on. You lured us in here. You trapped us, you bitch. No, you're coming with me, Striker. I, I can help you. I, I, I can make you be a good person again. It's too late for me. My friend. Oh, my friends. BFFs. Okay, um... Yeah! Best friends with the murderer. Hell yeah! I'll take that! If you get out of here alive, tell Nick that he was right about me. Everyone was right about me. Hug Striker. Come here. Come here, you big juicy bastard. Come here! Officer Booty Lover Hug Striker. It's a, a, an, an emotional, affectionate moment in which it will live on in the police journals from now until the end of time. People look back on this moment and think, what a fucking momentous hug there. I'm I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry that I can't help you, Striker. You will always be my friend. Nah, he won't. We've literally known him for about five seconds. We found out he's a murderer and, uh, nah, we're not gonna be friends. I hate to break it to you, buddy. 
Thanks for being my first friend, Officer Booty Lover. Your name kind of wrecks this moment a little bit, but overall, Officer Booty Lover, I can, I can dig your name. I feel you, dog. Officer Booty Lover walks away while Stryker sits in the corner and starts to cry. Since two out of the five of your choices or less didn't affect Stryker in a bad way, he confessed that he was records and didn't betray you. Wow! Officer Booty Lover runs to the door of Fazbear's Pizza when suddenly... No, 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 who is it? Something grabs Officer Booty Lover! It was Toy Freddy all along. It's my final challenge before I escape from here. I need to make the right choice now. Get your gun out and shoot Toy Freddy's eye. That's literally the only option we can make. So hold on to your butts, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Officer Booty Lover grabs a gun and shoots at Toy Freddy's eye. Nothing happens. Ah, oh, tits. Screams. Am I dead? In a moment of desperation, 6 a.m. arrives. Toy Freddy stops to hold Officer Booty Lover and Toy Freddy is automatically deactivated. Did we get away with it? Did we genuinely get away with that option there? The animatronics are automatically deactivated once 6 a.m. arrives. So... Striker! Officer Booty Lover runs to party room 2 and he sees Striker's dead. What? I left him for literally two seconds. How can that son of a bitch be dead? He... Killed himself. He couldn't take this anymore and decided to end his own life. Officer Booty Lover looks to Stryker one more time. Officer Booty Lover holds Stryker's body, caressing him in the rain as it pours down on his face and he cries out to the heavens, Stryker! You didn't deserve this, my man, but really you actually did deserve it. <laughs> he goes with Stryker's body to the exit door. Officer Booty Lover looks behind and he sees Fazbear Pizza for the last time. Officer Booty Lover walks out of Fazbear's Pizza, still holding Stryker. Friends, forever, ending unlocked. Chapter 7, Just Gold, playing as Ryan. Oh, hell yeah! Okay, so Ryan is back alive, so I'm presuming we're gonna do some sort of crazy time skip here. And we're gonna go it to um, playing as Ryan. But first of all... Holy shit, you guys were right. I didn't notice it in the first episode, but you, you said it in the comment section. You were like, Ryan, look at Rekyurts. Spell his name out the other way around, and it will spell strike Striker. Striker. You guys are smarter than me. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, here we go. Ryan wakes up in a Freddy Fazbear suit with a normal body and normal chica looking at him. Where am I? It's time for the main attraction. Your story must be told. You are a chain reaction that never gets old. Uh, who are you? <laughs> Hold on a second, my man, who are you? I'm not the bad guy. I'm just a bit surprising. It's not worth losing sleep. It's not worth analyzing. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Why are you? There was a time not so long ago at all. I was just like you. Something appears in front of Ryan. And it is Golden Freddy with a freshly manicured feet and nails. Some bots get satisfaction breaking the mold. Some bots are just distractions. Some bots are just gold. Golden Freddy disappears while Ryan slowly dies inside the suit with spring locks. Holy shit. Okay, so you're telling me, right? We abandoned Ryan. He wasn't actually dead at the time. He got mauled by Mangle. Wasn't actually dead. We left him there and somebody popped him in the suit. A spring lock suit. Holy crap! Poor Ryan, that is absolutely brutal right there, created by Stefan. Can't read the rest of it, sorry Stefan. I know you watched the, the other two videos, so thank you very much. I love your games, I absolutely love your games. And the music, Survive the Night, Just Gold, and the show must go on, made by Mando Pony. I thought I recognized them, that was absolutely brilliant. I love these stories. Click to go to the main menu. Yandere Simulator, the prequel visual novel, coming soon on Game Job. Oh, hell yeah! Oh man, I love, I love this Yandere Simulator one, so I'm definitely gonna be playing the shit out of that one. Offers a Booty Lover, finish the game. Click to return to the main menu. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. That was fun. I really did enjoy that story. Really, really did enjoy that story. However, let's go back and change a couple of the decisions we made earlier on. Okay, so with a crazy twist of fate, I've decided and uh, used my magical powers to go back to the point in time where Ryan 
and our good friend Stella, also secret lover, um, died. So, we're gonna see if any of our decisions here can actually alter what's going on. I decided to give Striker the flashlight so that he didn't get mad at us, so that's a little one less thing there to get him mad over. Okay, let's see what we can do. They hear a sound coming from the hallway. HIDE! Everyone hides while Stella puts on her mask. The sound stops. <laughs> Screams. Okay, please, please give me- Oh no, I bite her balls! There's no way to save her! Why is there no option to save her? Why is there no option to save Stella, my baby, my girl? Mm. Okay, so there's Foxy. There's Foxy. Okay. Stella, no! Foxy looks at Ryan. He goes near Ryan. Officer Booty Lover shoots at Foxy's head. Foxy screams. Striker uses the flashlight and the light goes on Foxy's face. Foxy puts its hands on his face. Ryan, follow us! Officer Booty Lover, Striker, and Ryan enter one of the vents in the office and they escape. Stella, my girl, you're gone. Damn. Really wanted to save her, but apparently we apparently we can't. A lot of people did say go back and try and save Stella. But it looks like there is no option to save her. Well, Officer Booty Lover and Striker are talking. Something comes out and bites Ryan. Ah! Ryan loses his frontal lobe and falls on the ground in an instant death. Well, no, he didn't instantly die because we saw him at the end of this episode. Ryan! And there is the mangle. Officer Booty Lover and Ryan see the mangle on the shadows. Turn on the flashlight. The flashlight doesn't turn on. They're not turning on. And that's because Balloon Boy's here, he's come to fuck shit up. This is Balloon Boy holding the batteries of their flashlight in one hand. Uh-oh. <laughs> Officer Booty Lover and Striker run from party room 4 and they hide in party room 2. Poor Ryan, man. He never wanted to talk about the bite of 1987, and he died with a bite from Mangle. And Stella died with a bite from Foxy. And now, we are on our own, without batteries for the flashlight. Striker, I've got one question for you. <clears throat> Will we survive the night? End of chapter 5, Mangle. So there was actually no way of going back. There's no way of going back and saving Stella and Ryan. They're dead no matter what. Dead no matter what. There's no way to save them. Obviously, Striker could betray us at some point, which might be an interesting end to go to, but... At the same time, I think we're done with this story. I think he's just gonna pop us in one of the suits or kill us or turn around and say, by the way, I'm Striker, bang, 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 you're dead. And that'll be the end of it. I don't think it's gonna be much different there. But I really did enjoy this story. I thought it was such, it was really good writing, especially somebody who's from Brazil that was able to get the drama and everything um, across as well. And it translated perfectly. It was it was great. I, I love, love this story. And I cannot wait for the new Yandere project as well. I think that's gonna be absolutely fantastic. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button it really really is appreciated and if you're looking for some more horror to watch we had an outlast episode on um the other day there'll be a link on the screen right now go and check that bad boy out because it really was quite um entertaining i get scared very easily in these games and you like to see me scared so go and check that bad boy out if you've got a bit of time but either way guys i've been rasbowski you've been the beautiful bastards as always for watching and i love each and every single one of you goodbye